Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at building a view application with Parcel.js. Um, now in things like Webpack there is quite a bit of config you've got to set up for this and you've got to know the plugin to put in and how to configure that plugin. Uh, with Parcel it's going to do it all for us. Um, if you've not used Parcel.js before I've got a video for that here by the way worth checking out beforehand. Otherwise let's just jump in. Um, so let's create very simple uh, web page. So let's get rid of the style and pull down that, and we'll just create um, a section here for our view component to get added to. Let's save that off. Um, I will just create package.json for us. Um, again, if uh, if you've seen my video on React with Parcel.js, you'll see why that is. Um, if you, you want to see that one, actually, there's a link here for that as well. Um, right. So let's create now then this main.js. Give that all a save. Um, now, the good thing with Parcel is you can have it running while you're doing your development um, and it will pull in packages for you and it will keep the, um, the live server updated. So let's just have that visible over here and get the tools up for problems. Okay, so I'll just put a heading in. Um, let's do Yes, demo. Okay, so we can see that coming up. Um, now I'm going to bring up parcel and split this out so that we can see what happens. All right, so the first thing we want to do is import view from view and give that a save. Uh, now, if you notice down here, you can see installing view, um, and it's brought us um, the view package in for us from npm, so that's great. Um, now, with view, I'm actually going to use um, single file components and SFC, um, which is definitely that sort of harder one to set up in Webpack. Um, so, I'm going to have um, an import here for my uh, view component. So let's create that first before importing it. Um, just call it app, uh, app.view. And in there we'll have a template and it can have h3 view component working. So that's what we want to see. We're not going to see it yet, obviously, over there. Um, and then just a default export there. Um, so back in here, I can, let's get rid of package.json, actually, let's go do that now. Um, and we can just split this so we can see these two. Um, so if I now import this app, um, so we can just say app is a default export from there. Um, and it's from app.view. Okay, let's give that a save. Now, again, we can see in here, it was bringing in um, component compiler utils. I'll just quickly show you that here. If we go back into package.json, before we just had view. Um, now, as soon as we've added a .view file to our project, we've brought in these other dependencies that are required. Um, to do the build for the view application. So, you know, normally you're going to have to know this stuff. It's nice um, to be able to just pull it in automatically for you. Uh, okay. Um, all right, so let's do const view model equals new view. So let's just create our app and the element that it goes into was app. And we just want to render 
this straight in there like so okay um, so when I hit save on here now uh, you can see it instantly coming up our view component working which is from here in our app view component um, so if I look in dist as well you can see we've just got the single file here so it's bundled that all up into one file and if we look on the network we've just got the single bundle there uh, which is what we'd be hoping for so there you go a very quick overview of using a uh, view with parcel js and just how quick and uh, easy it is to get up and running uh, i hope that was helpful uh, if you want to see more of these videos then uh, feel free to click on that subscribe button there otherwise see you next time thanks bye